fitness I'll be up in the gym Just working on my fitness He's my witness I put the boy on rock Well, Fergalicious to welcome you back. Fergie Ferg, it's the start of a new year and many have fitness goals in 2024. An app called Sesh, previously known as Fit by Katie, could help you reach those goals. Bianca McCain joins us this morning to tell us all about it. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. A lot of people looking for that workout, that fitness app, whatever, because it's the new year. A lot of people say new year, new me, even though it ends up being the same them in like March. But new we'll, goals. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> January is where it's at. What makes this app unique? Oh, at Sesh Fitness, we are full circle when it comes to strength training for women. We want you to feel stronger, happier, and healthier, and confident in your own body. Absolutely, and that makes a lot of sense. What's the local connection here? The local connection is Katie Hearn, our founder, mm -hmm. was from Louisville, and she created this over a decade ago, and then we've evolved into Sesh Fitness. Okay, she's out in L.A. now, isn't she? She's got her hands in a lot of different things. She's not in L.A. Actually, no? she's back home here now, oh, but she was okay. in Florida for a little while. Gotcha. Okay, talk to me about the New Year Challenge. Okay, our New Year Challenge is geared towards um, beginners to intermediates, and really, even if you're an advanced weightlifter, you can join. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to get you learning new things about health and fitness, to get you to have new tools, to reach your goals no matter what they are. And so we want strength training to be a foundation for you. And so we're gonna teach you about it, not just tell you what to do. And we want you to continue to reach your goals by learning and advancing your skills throughout eight weeks. Okay, talk to us about the memberships because for a lot of people it's about okay. the money, the bottom line, right? Right, sure. So while we focus on our eight week challenges, we still do have subscriptions to our app mm -hmm. that you can join and do over 50 programs to reach your goals. You do not have to do a challenge, but right now that's our push for the year. That's how we get people to join and fall in love with fitness. Okay. So you brought in a little demo here. We're going to work this out, huh? We're going to see what we've got. Should this I unbutton, morning. Un it's... unbutton the jackets? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to teach you what to do today. Okay. Okay. So just on a, a beginning upper body day, mm -hmm. we're just going to focus on an overhead press and we're going to work our shoulders right now. So okay. you're going to bring your weights up and you're not going to drop them below your chin level. So you're really going to want to keep them about ear to cheek and you're going to just go straight up in the air and okay. then bring them back down and then straight up in the air. A lot of people want to bring them over their head, but that's how you can get injured. So straight up and over your head. And then if you want to work your bicep muscles, which is your arms, you can bring your weight straight up and back down. Okay. And you want to just keep your weights really controlled, the movement, just to make sure that you're using the right muscles to lift the weights. These are those exercises too, right? Where at first it doesn't seem like it's that bad, but yeah. as time goes yeah. on, you're like, oh boy. The first couple reps are easy. Yeah. And then you get to like 10 and you're like, oh no, what am I going to do now? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And these are adjustable weights you were saying these too, are, right? Yeah, okay. they can start out at five pounds and you kind of click them over and they can go all the way up to 80 in the set. Nice. On a standard day, what do you usually do? 10 pounds, 15 pounds? Um, it depends what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, if I'm squatting, it's going to be heavier. I'll use it like a barbell. Uh -huh. But if it's upper body, you always want to start out with a light weight to warm up. And then you can progressively get heavier as your muscles are warm, the blood's flowing. And so probably like 20 pounds for a bicep curl to get going. Very nice. Yeah. All right, they're telling me we're out of time. I thought okay. I was going to get to flex it out, but you know, <laughs> oh, got to keep these guns in the jacket. Over to Mr. Redfield with the forecast.